Welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to do a class A subnet calculations uh, with uh, given IP address and a subnet mask. I will show you how to find number of networks, number of hosts, subnet address, broadcast address and host range. So uh, what we're going to do first is find number of networks and hosts. To do that uh, we need to convert our mask into binary and I have it here. So this is my mask in binary. I uh, highlighted in blue uh, the class A boundary and the number of networks is determined by the number of ones from the class A boundary which means that the number of networks is number of ones coming from this point. So we count in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 ones, which means number of networks is ten, uh, 2 to the power of 10, which gives us uh, 1024. Okay, so this is our number of networks, 1024, because this is the number of ones, is 10. Okay, to find number of hosts, we just count how many zeros we have and we do uh, the power of that which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 zeros which means that if we do 2 to the power of 14 will give us this 16,384 hosts but because we cannot use the first and the last we have to do minus 2 right here which gives us 16382 okay this is the number of hosts per each subnet uh, using this mask okay now to find the subnet address we have to do end operation between the mask and our IP address so I already have the IP address here okay and when you do end operation uh, you only have a 1 when there is a 1 on both sides when there is a 0 on either side the outcome is always 0 so let's do the end operation and for example uh, quickly 0 and 1 will give us 0 1 and 1 here gives us 1, 0, 1 gives us 0, 0, 1 gives us 0, and so on. And the result is this. Okay. I try to align it here. Okay. So every time you see a 1, you carry 1 over. There is a 1 over, 1, 1, and 1. Okay. So when you convert this IP address, to decimal I'll give you this 10.27.0.0 you can see this is a 0 and 0 okay to to do a broadcast address uh, broadcast address which means uh, everything ends in basically in ones uh, we need to find where the boundary is for our uh, mask so let me use a different line okay you can see this is the mask okay and the end of the mask is right here so when you draw a line in here this is the end of the boundary so what we need to do we copy these numbers down and after this after this number all these zeros change to a one and this is your broadcast address and it looks like this right here okay so I copied these numbers down and when in the mask you have zeros you convert them you convert these zeros into ones right here when you convert this into decimals we'll give you this ten 
10.27.63.255 okay so this is our result when you convert this number here so our host range is between this number and that number so we add one here and we minus one here and here's our range okay so here it is uh, so very simple mathematics um, to calculate our networks host subnet address broadcast address and host range we just need those two addresses uh, convert to binary do end operation and a couple little tiny tricks uh, here and there okay so let's recap what we learned to find our number of networks we have to f know that we are dealing with class A subnet which means our boundary is right here okay the first octet is always once uh, for a mask uh, and then we calculate for a uh, number of networks how many ones we have from the boundary to whatever the ending is in this case we have 10 ones which means 2 to the power of 10 gives us 1024 networks to find number of hosts we count number of zeros in your mask which is 14 we do 2 to the power of 14 gives us 16384 we do minus 2 because we cannot use subnet address and broadcast address so we have a 16382 valid hosts to find our subnet address we have to do end operation between the IP address and subnet mask the result is here when you convert to decimal this is the address to do broadcast address you have to know where your boundary is if you mask for once you copy the numbers under the ones and under the zeros you change your zeros into ones and this is your broadcast address because this is actually your range right here this number stays the same but these numbers always change okay well thank you for watching I hope you learned something and uh, you're encouraged to watch my other videos on subnetting class B and C. Thank you for watching. Bye.